Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hi, welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa, this time of the Habitat for Humanity Restore in Font Hill, Ontario. It's uh, between Welland and St. Catherine area. In any case, um, you don't usually think of these stores as being for thrifting, but there you go. You've got cups and saucers, vintage desks, other desks and tables and chairs and bits of art, mantles, china cabinets, china trolley there, food trolley, uh, lamps, artwork, more furniture. These are all donated to the Habitat for Humanity for them to either help somebody who's been, for example, a fireplace, wall fireplace, a gas fireplace. There. So you get all sorts of things in addition to uh, clothing that you can see back there. This one they brought their their truck inside I guess for the season. They're not doing construction in the middle of winter so they figured they'll just clean it up, bring it inside. It's parked and safe. Better than just putting it in some garage or uh, industrial unit where they can actually make some use of the, the, the uh, industrial space that they have for doing some training for some of the volunteers and some of the uh, soon to be homeowners. So Habitat for Humanity, this one says Niagara. They are trying to sell off some hair curling equipment. Beyond that, we've got Sheets and linens and so here's the first of the lamps that would be more like an industrial look. Lots of different sheets. Somebody, some, some, a lot of the stuff that is the Habitat for Humanity also arrives from businesses that are clearing out. They don't want to deal with that bit of their inventory anymore, maybe the last little bits of it, and they want to bring in something that will really make something for them. So they donate them to these places. Same thing happens with the big box stores, Lowe's, Home, Hard, Home Depot, Home Hardware, Rona. They all end up having some things that they just can't sell off. And rather than having it take up space from their items that they can really sell, they donate them to one of these kind of places. Not what you might have expected. There you go, an Instapot. It's not me. I actually had a couple of those there. Westwood Avenue got that interesting uh, cake stand there. She would have to explain all of what that is, but here we go. We now we're into the hardware. This is a tool section. This is what you would expect, or at least I've learned to expect at a Habitat for Humanity restore. 
and you got the bits and pieces, all kinds of bits and pieces that you need to put put into a house. So these are these are used in their builds as well. Um, but sometimes there's just a few pieces left over after a build. There's not enough necessarily for the next build, so they uh, they put them here. Wires, cables, bits of plumbing. Um, it's quite the mishmash. <laughs> Uh, I looked at some of the clothing. Uh, there was no Hawaiian t-shirt, Hawaiian shirts of any sort there. There were construction type of coats and stuff. Uh, there were children's wear. The, and you'll see in a moment that they had a whole whack of shoes, boxed shoes. They'd have a chart up for uh, doing comparison for what the numbers said and what the sizes were. Um, may have been sized according to, for example, Chinese size numbering, rather than North American, European size numbering. Even Australian numbering is different. There are charts for this available um, on the net. So, uh, not that I necessarily need to know that kind of stuff, but I've, I've learned about those. Oh yes. These steel toe boots that you can wear, wear like galoshes. So you could wear a non steel toe boot, temporarily need to be steel toe. Well, you get one of those. They don't have the steel shank, but that's, that's a separate issue. Hopefully, you're not going into that much of a construction site where there's nails sticking out of things. And like I said, all types of different things, uh, whether they're drainage systems for in front of a garage, for a driveway, uh, in front of a back door, whatever. Small appliances, large appliances you'll find here, water treatment systems. Um, this area I think has fairly hard water if you have to use a well because of the limestone base that uh, comprises much of the, um, well, Niagara Falls is wearing down the limestone. So there's your limestone for that area. And there were only like 10, 15 kilometers from Niagara Falls itself at this point. Really quite the interesting place. Um, They're all things that you'd probably find in one of the big box stores, but not presented the same way. Water lines, gloves. See, I work gloves of sorts. Sinks. And here we see some of the clothing. It's not all dress clothes, it's uh, casual wear, work wear. Boots. Shoes, here's the shoes in the boxes. And rubber boots. The Wellingtons as some people also call them. But these aren't work shoes, these are casual shoes. Some wear a little more dressy. And you get another view of some of the furniture. And they got artwork and cleaning supplies, so you can clean up afterwards. So they even had bird seed in one part of this coming up. Toys. So it's not just building materials. They have lots of other things. They're not places you might necessarily expect to find all these things, as I keep saying here. And there's building material kind of stuff working equipment, advertising signs from somewhere, they're for sale, various other cleaning equipment, uh, bird seeds, in the bag, 10 bucks a bag, I think they may have been windshield washer fluid, they've got caulking of all sorts, and 
adhesives that are necessarily used. Some bits of tile that are left over. Prep, prep materials for doing some of these things. Bits of carpet. Trim work, furnaces, hot water tanks. Various chemicals used, whether it's for gardening or for building. Refrigerators. Now the collection of doors and closet doors and interior doors, exterior doors. So uh, new doors, vintage doors, sometimes there's antique doors. You never can tell but before you walk in. It depends on which neighborhood you're in as to what you're going to find in these places. Laundry basins. Countertops. Looks like a box spring coming up there. Cabinetry. These look more like a shop cabinet. Little vanities, washing machines, stoves, dryers, fridges, microwaves, vacuum cleaners, all kinds of stuff. Everything, just about everything you need to build a house, but not absolutely everything, but you can get good ways of um, saving yourselves a few bucks if you are in the midst of doing renovations, and then you don't need to get as much of something, for example. But if you've got something smaller, maybe they have just the right amount for you, and it didn't work for anybody else. So you're the winner in this situation. Some of these are almost new. Um, sometimes what happens is somebody doesn't, when well, they buy a house, they just don't like that kind of appliance. They want the kind that they like. And there we go, we got some more stuff tucked behind other things. Some are newer, some are older. It varies. Range top. Cooktops. The gas cooktop there. It was actually a pretty good price. If you need one. Small appliances, like I said. Kitchen cabinetry. There's a, a bed. Whole set of kitchen cabinetry. Maybe a couple of different sets there. Whether you need them for a whole kitchen or basement kitchen or just need them to finish up in a laundry area, you decide. A workshop even. And there's the truck and some of the children's clothes. It's not an enormous place. I've been in larger uh, uh, restores, but a good size. You've already seen now uh, the one from Brantford in this series. And right there, here we got some lampshades. Sometimes if you only have one, it doesn't work. There, if you need six or nine, in fact, there, you could make that thing more useful out of them. At least you're not stuck to only half on one. Oh yes, snow blower, battery operated. That's, that's a green works, but it looks a lot like the snow joe. Coolers. Huh. Hadn't noticed that before. Well, not during the editing of the video anyway. Some stuff for uh, the younger crowd. Barbecue supplies. So 
yeah. You can do really well coming to visit these places. Not necessarily the place you would have thought of for a thrift, thrift store visit. So, here we go. Take care, folks. Hope you consider subscribing and ringing for bell, the bell notifications. We'll be uh, putting some more of these up. We do visit these kind of places on a fairly regular basis and we try to get some different ones so you don't have to go to all of them yourself. And you can consider them during your other travels and you can enjoy yourself too. All right. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye -bye. <laughs>